in the darkest recesses of the lair of Dungeon Master Doom. I lit a torch, and then my dungeon filled up with smoke, and I couldn't breathe. Now I'm vexed. How do I light my dungeon without killing characters of with carbon monoxide poisoning. Dungeon Master Doom wants to know what are your thoughts on lighting a dungeon besides using magic. Zap! Whoa! Let there be light! <laughs> Alright! So, torches I've discovered because I researched it because I was just thinking about torches today, and it, it's vexed me now. Torches are, are fake. They don't work like they do in Indiana Jones movies. They last for like five or ten minutes. I YouTubed um, survivalist videos and stuff, and saw how people make torches, and um, they only last five or ten minutes, and it's going to fill a place up with smoke, and the characters are just going to suffocate because of the smoke in the, in the place underground. And even even more so, you got if you're go if you're delving too deep, like dwarven level, uh, you're you're going to release gases from beneath the earth. And if you light something on fire, you're going to create a, a mini inferno inside. Even if you're using a lan lantern that isn't uh, filling the place up with smoke. And uh, I was also thinking, maybe orcs and goblins and dwarves are a little too overpowered with dark vision. I think they should all have low light vision. Because if they all have dark vision, the best weapon they could possibly have is a bucket of water. It's like... I'm thinking, why don't I just equip all my goblins with buckets of water instead of short swords? As soon as the players come in, poosh, your light source is gone. You can't see, and you're screwed. So, the only way around this I can think of is magic. Globes of daylight. Uh, magical moss and magical mushrooms lighting up a dungeon, but that would get pretty old fast. That's got to be something special. I don't know how I'm going to handle light sources. So uh, if I take away the dark vision from dwarves and, and goblins and orcs living underground, then they do have to provide a light source inside and the, the bucket of water won't be so uh, damaging to the players. <laughs> <laughs> but even then you have the smoke and lighting things on fire and then that, that got me thinking about well that's how you if dwarves dwarves could engineer a dungeon to where they could vent out smoke and stuff but they're constantly forging metal and iron and making weapons and burning things on fire you would d dwarves would not be able to hide from the surface well world at all i'd imagine oh, there ab above their layers it would probably look like a volcano on top of the ground so uh, i'm i'm vexed about the um torches and now i i googled this stuff and it's a hard thing to find because torches are a myth. And, uh, oh, let's see. So in medieval times, they would use the creek torches, and that's what you find in the survivalist videos, and those only last, oh, five, ten minutes. Then they had rush lights and splinters, rush lights, would be like a long stick covered in sap and resin, and those would last for like an hour, 
half hour, usually a half hour, a good one less than an hour, whatever. Doesn't need to be exact. Um, and those would be in sconces, in castles, and, and peasants would have little sconces themselves and have their little rush lights on during the night. Splinters were like a little bit better than a candle. Um, but one thing I, I was thinking about, uh, getting over the, the, the bucket of water technology that the, the goblins could use on the players to like screw up the player's game. Uh, the, the Romans used a, a sulfur and lime concoction, which made the flames waterproof. But then again, taking that stuff down into a dungeon, not only is it going to stink up the place, but uh, it, it'll kill you. So, uh, I'm stuck. I can't think of a, of a realistic way to uh, have players light up the dungeon. Magic's the only answer. Torches don't work. Lanterns, how are you going to hold that in, in, in a dungeon? And what's going to stop um, a, a goblin from throwing water on it? Uh, so... I'd like to know what you think. I, I, do you just have to ignore this and just let it go and say, oh, torches and lanterns will light up the dungeon. That, that's cool. I don't want to do that, though. I want to come up with something interesting. And I want to, yeah, so the feedback I've been getting lately has been fantastic on YouTube. Thanks, everyone, for commenting. I've really been enjoying reading everyone's comments, um, which is surprising considering the internet is is a pretty nasty place most of the time. <laughs> but the RPG community is pretty awesome. So, yeah, I'll just end it here because I've had a long day and Dungeon Master Doom needs to get rest. If he's going to run the ultimate role-playing games ever to be seen in the darkest, deepest dungeons ever unearthed. <laughs>